this building, I think what it speaks in volumes really is the ambition, the commitment and the confidence of the NHS, but particularly NHS Bradford and Airdale, our local commissioners, our PCT, who actually have the courage to listen to the public and actually act on what they say to drive out health inequalities. You know, to actually put the services that, that people want right here, right in the centre of the community and not at the hospital, in brand spanking new facilities. So it's absolutely, uh, absolutely superb. And then finally, you know, we're modest people, but I think I should say something about the Bradford and uh, their DL care partnerships. You know, we are a can-do organisation. We have some tremendous support. We've led this programme, but we've led it with tremendous support from NHS, Bradford and Airdale, from the Strategic Health Authority, from GPs, from patient user groups, uh, from the community and from the schools. And there are some students here from Beckford School who have also provided some of the art. And I hope when you went on your tour you saw the art. Because again, these are the kind of things in the 21st century we go for functional buildings. This is very functional. I have to think it's very attractive. And I think the art takes it to an extra dimension and it's absolutely superb. So what I'm going to do on behalf of NHS Bradford and Airdale is thank the people of Big um, Because I, you know, I spent what felt like a considerable part of my life talking to the people of Bingley, um, where this was just um, a pile of nothing and a concept and an idea and um, consulting with them and their concerns about their, what they, their lost heritage sometimes and their concerns about change and their concerns about what services they wanted to see here. And actually to walk in and actually see what they wanted and what they talked about and delivered here and actually a lot of them being here because I know their involvement has continued throughout the whole project there was really strong patient user group was formed out of that consultation process and that has helped inform what's here you know it's been it's been great and I think you rarely see the end point of the consultation it often sort of veers off and I think this is really strong and I think so just on behalf of NHS Bradford I'll thank you the people of Bingley for how much you contributed to that process. How much we learned from you about effective consultation during that process. And I hope you too are very proud of what you've helped deliver because you have helped deliver it. So thank you. One of the great things about my job is going around Yorkshire and the Humber and A realising that God really did invent Yorkshire and Humber. He's gone so you know, from one end of the county to the other, wherever you go, people are beginning to put buildings in places just like this, with wonderful buildings that don't look at all as people thought health buildings should look. And from the, the wonderful metal archway out there, the glorious artwork that the children have done and the schools have done, and the, and the capsule that I hope you're going to help bury in school. All of it absolutely fabulous because the thing that really matters about this place is not only the people who come here and the people who work here, but it's the services which are delivered. And I think one of the things again about Bradford and the surrounding area is the services and the health services for the people of Bradford, they're tailor-made, you think about it the whole time, it comes back to what does the population need, what do they want, what can we provide. And I'm so proud of what you have done here, um, as I am of, of other parts of Yorkshire with the same sort of commitment. It's absolutely marvellous. And when people, you, know, you watch programmes on the television, don't you, about hospitals or community services, and you hear people being mocked, that's not really the NHS, this is the NHS. And this is what we have to be so proud of. So thank you so much for asking me to come today. And uh, I've had my blood pressure taken. I've purchased stuff in boots. I don't know what else I can do apart from actually go and see a GP. I wouldn't do that. But I, I mean, it's been absolutely marvellous. But you, you have really got something special here. Um, be proud of it. Look after it. And, and develop it. Because this is only the start. More and more services of different types will come and go as things change. But thank you all of you for all the effort you've put in. Because I know... It's taken a lot of effort to get to today. Do I now have to go and call something? <laughs> I once did this with David Plunkett, and it was very tall, and tall thing. he pulled it and it fell on his head. So I'm hoping that's not going to happen today. It's nothing to prove, so. Here we go.